What do you think about that? <laughs> Vegan zombie brains. What do you think? Yum? All right, good. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Taylor, co-owner of Vegan Proteins Online Coaching, and today we are making a fun halloween -y recipe. We're doing it from a different angle because this is the only video that seems appropriate to display the Halloween wall. But hey, if you guys like it and you like this angle better, let me know because it's way easier to film here. So today we are making zombie brains. Just kidding. Uh -huh. It is vegan spinach and artichoke dip. I just happened to put it in this adorable zombie bowl. But you could also make a little graveyard out of it with crackers. You could do the classic pumpkin vomiting the dip for Halloween. Kids love that one as well. This is so delicious and please follow along. I hope that you like it. Okay, so what I have here is a giant bowl. It has two 16 ounce bags of frozen spinach that I thawed and squeezed all of the water out. I just used my hands, but if you have a cheesecloth or a nut milk bag, you could use that. I also have the oven preheated to 350 degrees and I'm going to be using four cans of artichoke hearts. The smallest I could find was them quartered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take these over to the sink, drain all four cans, chop them into much smaller pieces and put them right in here in this bowl. So these do not have to be perfect. It's rustic. Okay, and we are just going to set this bowl aside. We're going to come back to it. Okay, next we're gonna be making the sort of sauce that goes on top of this. So I'm gonna use my Vitamix. This thing is 20 years old, still going strong. And to this, I am gonna add a cup of raw cashews. If you don't have a super strong blender, you might wanna soak these for a while, but these are just plain raw cashews. One and a half packages of firm tofu. I have never seen this before, but when I opened this tofu, it was missing a chunk. Uh, which is super weird, but okay. We're gonna do one and a half packages in the blender. Normally I would use the juice of two lemons, but this thing is a beast. So I'm just going to use the one. Pull out any seeds if you see them. I'm also gonna add two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and a cup of nutritional yeast. And I'm just gonna add bits of soy milk to this as I need to, to make sure that it blends up nice and creamy and smooth. This is probably gonna take a little bit. All right, it's gonna be loud, guys. Oh, Jesus. That's new. So I wasn't using a measuring cup, but I would say that I added just about a cup of unsweetened soy milk. I might've added a little bit too much. It looks a little bit thinner than I intended, but I spoke too soon. Oh, that to makes uh, still going strong after 20 years. This is still working, but the plunger just came apart while I was blending. So now what we are gonna do is I'm gonna pour the liquid mixture right over the spinach and artichoke. I'm just going to stir that all up. Before I start mixing that all together, this is an optional step. I'm going to add a package of the Follow Your Heart Parmesan to it. This stuff is really, really good. I actually really like the shaker version of it too, but this is the like shredded version and I'm going to stir it all together. You don't have to do this, but I am counting this in the macros that I get to the end. So this is about a nine by 13 inch pan, I believe. I'm going to dump this in here, use my spoon to level it out, I'm going to cover it with foil. And I'm going to bake this at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. And no video of mine would be complete without me breaking out the air fryer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this, this is kind of like a double recipe. This is a great way to make some healthy pita chips for dipping. You could also use Crudite, you could put this on broccoli, you could thin it out with vegetable broth and eat it as soup, it's awesome. But I'm gonna use these Joseph's Flax, Oat, Bran, and Whole Wheat Pitas. I love them because each one is 80 calories, seven grams of protein, and four grams of fiber. And they're really good for burritos, any kind of Mexican food. But what we are gonna do today is kind of make some tortilla chips with them that are super, super easy, and you can make as many or as few as you want. But this is dinner for our family tonight, so I'm gonna make the whole package. So I just laid them all out 
and I'm gonna cut them into triangles. So yeah, I guess I'll do like eight, like a pizza. I'm just gonna take my air fryer basket here and I'm just gonna give it a quick spritz. We're gonna have to do these in batches, but they go really fast. So I'm just gonna take one bunch of wedges them in there. Okay, beautiful. They all fit. Give it a quick little spritz just like that. Pop it in the air fryer 400 degrees for about two to three minutes. Keep your eye on them. Okay, so that took me about six batches to get those chips, but I just want you to hear. Let's do one that just came out, ready? It really does make them very chippy. So we love it. Ooh, and this looks so good. So to make this Halloween-y, there's a number of things that you can do with it. You could just serve it just like this. Uh, it's still pretty hot, it's just came out of the oven. This is a huge party platter. If you're not feeding an army, you can cut this recipe in half easily. I have this adorable zombie bowl. So I am gonna put this in the bowl and tell the kids that it is zombie brains. And this will be our supper tonight. Here you have it, your spinach and artichoke dip slash zombie brains. This whole recipe makes 16 servings and each serving is 142 calories, seven grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, and 9.2 grams of protein. And it's loaded with vegetables and fiber and B vitamins from the nutritional yeast. This is a really, really good one. And if you make it fun for Halloween, the kids should like it too. Um, and the bonus of the the pita chips, the air fried pita chips are really fantastic as well. So if you give this a try, let us know. If you like recipes like this, be sure to check out our Muscles by Brussels membership. On our website, you get monthly workouts, you get access to all of our macro-friendly vegan recipes, access to our twice, now three times monthly actually, live coaching calls, so much more. It's really, really fantastic. And if you make this, let us know. Any requests, leave them down in the comments below. I hope everybody has a wonderful Halloween. Oh my God. That is so good.